But what he was looking for was a San Ignacio, which is uh, Nuestra, La so Nuestra Sonora de la San Ignacio. Um, the manifest dictates that she went down with 100 tons of gold and two cases of uncut diamonds. And that's the manifest from Seville, the archival uh, General Indies. Um, and those are generally pretty accurate. So we don't know where the San Ignacio is, but people do find coins occasionally get washed up. And, and that's the one that the, the real treasure hunters, the professionals, are going for. So we keep an eye on it. No, I don't know anything about platinum cans, but we've got, I mean, the one that I'm looking at right now is Australia, the British warship, the fourth rate that went down in 1808. And there are 27 guns lying on the seabed. Um, the problem with that is obviously the time that we can get underwater on Anadar. But these things aren't on the reef, obviously. If they were on the reef, they're way too up. They, these things have got draft. They're, they're bottoming out about 70, 80 yards from the reef because it shallows out very gradually. But if you've got like a British warship, a 15 foot draft, you're about 60 yards out from the reef when you hit. She got stuck on the reef. Um, the story of the mutiny and the guy that was executed for mutiny and hanged on the yard arm. There's a whole story behind it. Um, but Australia for us is a big one because the guns are still on the seabed. There's 27 of them down there. Um, and the anchors are still there. So what we would like to do with that is obviously record it, etc. Then what we'd do is um, we'd conserve the guns in water. So we don't pull cannons out of the water anymore. As soon as you get them into the air, that's it pretty much for them, unless you've got the proper facilities. What we're trying to do is take the positive salt charge that when, when, when the salt water hits the iron, it creates a positive charge, and that's what creates the deterioration. We're trying to extract that, but we're not extracting it, we're diverting it. So we get a block of aluminium, which is far more conductible. We'll get some car jump starter cables, attach them to the aluminium block and attach them to the gun. And slowly but surely over a few years, all of that negativity or that positivity will be extracted and the aluminium block will start to deteriorate, not the gun. Once the gun's been down there long enough and the block's deteriorated long enough, it's consolidated the iron, you just pick it up out of the water, whack it with a hammer, the concretion falls off and you've got a perfectly good gun. And that's, that's how we do it nowadays. We don't try and get them ashore, put them in big tanks of water electrolytically. We do all of the electrolytic work on site now. Uh, the other one that we're looking at is Restoradora. Now that is a sad story. Um, the work 